parallel resonant inverters. A parallel resonant inverter is the dual of series resonant inverter. It is supplied from a current source so that the current offers high impedance to the switching currents. The parallel resonance circuit as shown here. Since the current is continuously controlled, this inverter gives a better short circuit protection under the fault condition. Now, summing the currents through RLC, you are going to get C dv by dt plus v by r plus 1 by l integral v dt equals to the input current is right and this is dl to a series sent inverter the equation is l di by dt plus ri plus 1 by c integral i dt plus vc at t equals to 0 equals to vs this is having the initial conditions that v at t equals to 0 is equals to 0 and i l at t equals to 0 is approximately equals to 0 itself now if i is replaced by v double equation and r by 1 by r l with the c and c with l vs with is in series inverter we got i of t equals to vs plus vc by omega rl e power minus alpha t sine omega rt drt if i replace these values in the equation then i'm going to get the voltage for parallel resonant inverter is equals to is by omega rc e power minus alpha t sine omega rt let this be question number one where alpha equals to 1 by 2 rc now the damped resonant frequency omega r equals to 1 by lc minus 1 by 4 r square c square under the square root question number two the voltage v is maximum at t equals to tm that tm is given by 1 by omega r tan inverse of omega r by alpha that is equation number at three and this is also we have seen in series resonant inverter that tm equals to the same one by omega r tan inverse of omega r by alpha this can be approximated to pi by omega r now the input impedance z of j omega is given by v naught by i input in j omega terms which equals to r 1 by 1 plus j r by omega l plus j omega c r where i of i is the rms ac input current i of i equals to 4 i s pi root 2 pi that the quantity factor q is given by omega naught cr equals to r by omega naught l this is equals to r square root of c by l which equals to 2 delta that is equation number 4 where delta is the damping factor and delta is equals to alpha by omega naught which equals to r by 2 square root of c by l now substituting lc and r in terms of q and omega naught we are going to get z j omega equals to 1 by 1 plus j q of omega by omega naught minus omega naught by omega which equals to 1 by 1 plus j q of u minus 1 by u which is nothing but input impedance where u equals to omega by omega naught and the magnitude of input impedance z z omega is given by 1 by 1 plus u square u minus 1 by u square whole thing under the square root that is the equation number this is the input impedance of this parallel resonant inverter circuit this is the bridge topology of a parallel resonant inverter the bridge topology can control the output voltage the switching frequency fr is kept constant 
and the resonant frequency f naught by switching two devices simultaneously was the square wave can be obtained as shown in this figure where from alpha to pi minus alpha t1 t2 will turn on and from pi plus alpha to 2 pi minus alpha t3 and t4 are going to turn on in between t1 t4 t2 t3 is going to work now the rms fundamental input current i i is given by 4 i s by pi square root of cos alpha let this be equation number 6 by varying the alpha in between 0 and pi by 2 at constant frequency the current i can be controlled from 4 i s by root 2 pi to 0. This concept what we discussed earlier can be extended to HVDC application in which the AC voltage is converted to DC voltage in the first stage and then converted back to AC at the final stage. The transmission normally done at a constant DC that is through a DC link. A single phase version is shown here. This is regarding the parallel resonant inverter. If this video is useful, please like, share and subscribe.